Hello everybody, it's Rick. It's Saturday morning, the 11th of March. If you need to reach me, it's email rick0327 at me.com. Okay, um, well, what I want to talk to you about is, uh, you know, understanding that, you know, we, we, what, we keep bringing up like the 14th Amendment, your right to a trial by jury, uh, and then, you know, people go into court and these people will say to them, well, you're, you don't have that right. Or the uh, statute doesn't allow for it. See, you have a right to due process. And what you need to understand about due process is, is that the courts have ruled due process is synonymous with the Constitution, the law of the land. So if the Constitution says that, you know, for a controversy of $20 or more, you, you are, you know, guaranteed a trial by jury. A state cannot make a law to do that. But what they've done is they, they have done exactly that. You, you go to, uh, to these family courts or courts of common pleas or these circuit courts, superior courts. I'm learning all of this, uh, helping people. And you're always confronted with a... Uh, a judge-like person, acting like a judge, speaking to you like a judge, but what is always missing in that picture is a jury. So really what's going on is that person is going to make a ruling or issue a fake court order and start ruining your life. Now, the reason why we have these guarantees like the Seventh Amendment is to protect us from maniacs like these fake judges, these commissioners, support magistrates, whatever they're called, and who has an agenda. In New York State, I have the paperwork. It's from the, uh, the New York uh, State or New York City Bar Association where they, they, they write out that support magistrates who are non-judicial, they're referees, that's really all they are, and 66% of their salary, what a coincidence, right guys, 66, 66% of uh, child support comes from the federal, you know, every dollar they take from you, they get 66 cents from the government, so the support magistrates, it says, I had the... the I have it where it says their salaries are federally uh, reimbursed, 66 or 67 percent. Well, it's like 66.6 percent, which rounded off, rounds off to 67 percent. So what that means is that that person is automatically disqualified from being impartial and unbiased or disinterested. Like a, they call him a sober judge. A sober judge is supposed to be straightforward no nonsense what are, what are the what's the evidence what's the facts i'm going to rule on it that's why the uh, the symbol for justice is a blindfolded lady holding scales so you're supposed to be you're supposed to be able to walk into a, a court if they actually should do this it's like put up a, a petition so the judge cannot see who you are know who you are and and, and make a ruling just based on the evidence and things would go uh, this whole country would turn around in a heartbeat well not in a heartbeat but you know pretty fast because there, there are so many things involved that there, there are people who come before a court and, and they're, they're given so much latitude uh, lawyers are, are allowed to speak without being sworn in given testimony for uh, for you know, another person, like, yes, I was listening to a recording this morning of, uh, of a guy uh, in California fighting some non, you know, custody bullshit, and the, uh, his ex-wife's attorney's doing all the talking. Now, he, you know, he's, he did very well, and, but he's, he's testifying on his behalf, 
because he can. He's first person. He was there. He's allowed to do that. His ex-wife's attorney's doing all the talking. He's not sworn in, and he wasn't there. So how can he give testimony and 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 the judge consider us that testimony? They're not supposed to. It's called unsworn testimony. But it's just again, it. it it's another acceptable thing in these, you know, courts or tribunals. Tribunal is a, is a like a one-person panel, or you know, two or three it could be several people. But it, it's there's no jury involved. There's no impartiality. A jury is supposed to be impartial. So, getting back to the uh, the trial by jury is guaranteed uh, in the Seventh Amendment. And the 14th Amendment is supposed to protect you from state laws like the statutes. So any statute that's made that is depriving you of your due process is is supposed to rebut it. And that's where we, where you know, a lot of my paperwork is, is, is my arguments. My it's, again, it's very simple argument. Uh, I'm entitled to due process, uh, and it states. There's plenty of case law out there that you cannot lo lose life, liberty, or property unless by due, pro due process. Well, all that money they're stealing from uh, from our paychecks and everything, from child support, from the banks, that's property. Okay? So some fake judge, some kangaroo hearing, they're creating these forgeries. And then the, the conspiracy or the cooperation by the banks... Um, by the employer uh, is is causing our property to be stolen. So, if you understand, just from that point of view, whenever you are allowed to go into a court and finally confront uh, and, and have a, an opportunity to speak, you you need to go from there. Um, you know, getting back to that ADL lawless ones thing. You know what that's all about. Is it's uh, as I was telling you, it's the same thing with like conspiracy theorists. You know, you got this guy like Alex Jones, and he he acts all wacky on purpose. He's a cartoon character. He's what you call controlled opposition. He's allowed to do all of these things because uh, the, because of the internet. Because a lot of people are waking up to what's going on in the world, thanks to the internet. Like us right now, we're able. I'm able to communicate with all you people because of the internet. I learned a lot because of the internet. And what happens is people are waking up at an astronomical rate. So you got a guy like Alex Jones who's out there and he, he he's what you he puts out like 75% truth and he is 25% untruths. But he acts he acts wacky on purpose because now whenever somebody's called a conspiracy theorist, they, the first thing they think of is Alex Jones. Um, there's another guy uh, in uh, Virginia. I'm not gonna say his name. I and I figured this guy out. He's uh, actually dresses wacky. He, uh, he he Richmond, Virginia. He walks up to like the police and he films. He's confronting them and acting all wacky. He gets on the phone calling people, acting wacky. And uh, he was on. Uh, some news program, uh, RT, or no, um, the other one, uh, the hell's it called, the, the Iranian one, and he's up there doing the, the hand sign like this, whenever you see this, it's a hand sign, okay, it's a, it means that he's one of them, and I made a comment in his video, I'm like, dude, what's with the hand signs, he's like, oh, well, I just, uh, you know, placing my hands in a comfortable position, I'm like, get yeah, are you kidding me? And that's when I realized he was he was one of them. Okay? And but the point is is that they it takes away from the facts that you're right. So it, it's I put it in uh, the guy Eric's paperwork uh, in Pennsylvania a couple of days. I wrote in there, I'm like, it's a sad time that when somebody brings up their constitutional rights, you labeled the uh, you, you labeled the name. When I was going through my thing with uh, this, this support magistrate, Sue Deep Carr, she'd roll her eyes when I bring up the Constitution, and I confront. Them. I go, "What are you rolling your? I go, "What are you rolling your eyes about?" 
Every time I bring up the Constitution, am I amusing you? But it's because of people, you know, uh, like the ADL, you know, issuing these manuals where when you bring up your constitutional rights, they label you a constitutionalist, a sovereign citizen, and, you know, it takes away from the facts that you're right. And that's the battle we have, you know? So, uh, you know, as I'm finishing up my little blog right now, you know, what you got to understand is that paternity does not mean you have to pay child support. I haven't found the law that says you have to pay child support. It's all a scam. It's uh, it's just for them to, to, to recoup money, steal money out of the Social Security, and basically and, and they're impoverishing everybody. So uh, before you go to court, uh, you got to understand that uh, you have a right to, to trial by jury. You have a right to due process. Uh, support orders made by an imitation judge not signed by a clerk not entered with the clerk's office is a void instrument so understand if you got a void instrument you have a chance okay you got a fighting chance it might not happen right away but you know you have a chance that down the road it's going to be hard for a, a judge or an appellate court or whatever to to say Oh, well, it's a valid judgment because it's what they do is a lot of times they did with me is they try to avoid the subject. They'll summarize it and bring up something else. All right, listen, I'm going to close up this uh, little video blog. And if anybody needs to reach me, it's uh, rick0327 at me.com. All right, enjoy the rest of your day.